if you have a missing loved one uh, without any answers of what happened to them or what could have happened to them can be one of the hardest things for a family to bear, right? I think we can all put ourselves in their shoes. And at the very least, you wanna know that someone is looking for them, that somebody is on the case. But there are thousands of missing indigenous people in our country and many Native families say they just are not getting the help and the attention that they need and deserve. So this morning in our Missing series, we're gonna introduce you to a group of women who are doing everything possible to bring those families answers. I wanna share that story with you now and then we'll talk about it afterwards. A parade celebrating the Navajo Nation. It is a rare weekend day off for search dogs Trigger and Gunny. This is what they're used to. Weekends spent scouring the breathtaking and dangerous landscapes of America's tribal lands, searching for missing and murdered indigenous people. October through November, we had a search every weekend. Bernadine Biel is the founder of Four Corners Canine Search and Rescue. The mission born when she was told her state-run search team in New Mexico couldn't help a Native American family searching for their son. He said, if you go, you're actually going to have to go on your own and not part of the team. You're going as a community member because we only can deploy when the state police calls us. For Yale, there was no hesitation. Today, her all-female, all-Native American volunteer group fills a unique gap able to respond for families searching on tribal lands. We are not tied to anybody. I don't report to the Navajo police. I don't report to the state of New Mexico. We are our own team. So who we report to is the families when they need help. Like the family of Rennell Rose Bennett in New Mexico. Ryan Tom, 32 years old, missing since June in Utah or 51-year-old Benny Stash with health problems and going blind who never came back from the store. We searched for him for a day and a half and we had no clue where he went. Trigger and Gunny with GPS collars tracked on a map a sad conclusion. His remains just a quarter mile away. Once the dogs got started, we found him within 45 minutes. I was very happy that they were there help the family out and how would you say like a closure for our family. Biel and her team now being invited to speak at schools and to tribal police groups. It's an everyday thing, every day after work we go out and train on something. Explaining what her team does and how they can work together. Biel's parents were both Navajo police officers. That's where my passion came in it is how can I help these families and law enforcement uh, bridge that gap? She spends nearly all her free time and most of her paychecks on the expensive search missions. She's hoping to add a drone and more trained volunteers, covering all 27,000 square miles of Navajo Nation, and sometimes other reservations when called. All in hopes of chipping away at the thousands of unsolved cases of missing indigenous people and bringing families the answers they're desperately seeking. Filling such an important void, BL has launched a GoFundMe campaign to help pay for the cost of so many of the searches that you saw there, and she is looking for more trained volunteers. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider, and don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.